Hi, if you're a web developer looking to bring your web app to Android and Chromebook devices via the Play Store, you may have heard of Trusted Web Activities. Part of having a trusted web activity is having a way to allow an app or a website to make public, verifiable statements about other apps or websites. This allows your website to declare that it is related to an Android app through what is known as a digital asset link and vice versa. Digital asset links tell the browser that it's okay for your app to display your website full screen. They also tell Android that it's okay to use your app to handle any intents to your website. Digital asset links can be intimidating at first glance. My name is Alexander and I am part of the Chrome OS DevRel team. I'm going to provide tips on how to make this process easier for you. You may be asking yourself, where can I find my digital asset links? Your website should list its digital asset links in the well-known digital assets location. This is located at the location on screen for your web app. The file should look something like this. The package name is a compiled name that uniquely identifies your application on Google Play and on your device. Package names cannot conflict with each other in the Play Store. The SHA-256 fingerprint is a cryptographically computed signature that can only be attributed to your signing keys to uniquely identify you. Every Android application is signed with a unique SHA-256 signing key, which makes it hard to impersonate you. If you're using Bubble Wrap or PWA Builder to generate your trusted web activity, you will find that your assetlinks.json are generated for you in either your project directory from Bubble Wrap or in your downloaded zip file from PWA Builder. When writing the project from scratch, you need to generate the assetlinks.json file yourself. You can generate a SHA-256 fingerprint through the following command shown on the screen. More instructions on the key tool command are listed in the description below. Once you have your SHA-256 fingerprint, you can plug it into a template like this. There are two ways to sign your app. You can either sign your app and upload to Google Play, or you can have Google Play handle the app signing for you, which is recommended. After uploading to the Google Play Store, if you opted into Google Play signing your app, you'll need to locate the app signing certificate page by clicking on your app, going underneath Setup to App Signing, and seeing on that page a section called App Signing Key Certificate. Here is where you can see your Google Play signed app fingerprint, which should then be appended to your digital asset links file. Your assetlinks.json file can have multiple entries present so you can support both your locally signed version of the app as well as the play signed version. We recommend limiting the amount of keys the website trusts, but for testing your app locally and being deployed from the Play Store, this is okay. Once you have your digital asset links file, we strongly recommend you to validate the contents of that file. Google has built a tool to validate that the digital asset link is formatted properly. You can visit a link in your browser and see the digital asset link along with debugging information to show what may be wrong with the provided asset link. A sample of a passing asset link and a failing asset link is shown here. Information on this tool can be found in the description below. If you have validated the digital asset links in the browser using the URL, you may notice a toast in the debug version of your app that shows that the asset links could not be verified. To validate the correct SHA-256 fingerprint, we recommend using the Asset Links Tool Android app and validating that the package and signature that appear in the tool when searching your app also appear in the assetlinks.json file. So the reason you're probably here is that you want to get your trusted web activity working. As I mentioned earlier, trusted web activities are a way of packaging a web app to put on the Play Store. When launching a trusted web activity, the digital asset links are checked and if the check fails, you get this top bar. This top bar shows Chrome artifacts, and if you're familiar with Android development, this is a Chrome custom tab. With that, I hope you feel more confident in troubleshooting digital asset links and ensuring that your trusted web activity can easily integrate with Google Play and Android devices. For more documentation, check out the resources at chromeos.dev and some of the links below. Thanks for watching.